channel. My name is Tyler, your friendly lo-fi and ambient music producer. Today, I will break down my new track, Frost Bitten Memories. It's got those winter vibes, just right for your Christmas. A big thank you to Can Blue Label for having me in this compilation. Grateful for the opportunity. Let's dive in. First thing first, I always start with piano. And here is a basic chord progressions, a D major 7, C sharp major 7, B minor 7, and also A. Then I added some more melody in these chord progressions. So this time I laid two different piano parts. The first one is it's a bit softer. From native instrument piano colors. So basically, this is a pet sounds, but I layered one layers if a is a pure soft piano sounds. So you can hear the sounds in the piano so soft. But in the background you can hear some pet sounds. The second layer, it is a free plugins from Foundation Piano, and I added a EQ and ROM for the reverb. So the layers will be sounds like this. So you hear the pet sounds will make the piano more full, more warm. Next up is the pet sounds. This sounds is also from Logic Stop plugins. So I just added a RC20 for make it the sounds more warmer. So you can hear the sounds before. This pet sounds bring it more winter vibe so you can hear something like very cold sounds to vote to the background. You'll hear the track immediately feel like in the winter. Next up, I added a guitar melody in the background, just some notes, sounds like this. And I automatically the high cut to make the guitar slowly to get out. So the guitar I use a uh, native instrument, Guitar Rig 6, it is a preset but I just twisted it and only use some clean sounds. And also EQ and smooth for cut some uh, harsh sounds from my guitars. So basically this is the uh, intro and also I added a fire sounds and also dark winter ambient sounds. So the intro sounds like this. You really got the winter vibe already. Next up, bass as usual. I always use Logic Stop plugins bass. It sounds very good to me. And also, it's the basic notes on the chord. And also, I side chain to my kick. After the intro, I added one more piano melody. It is the same from the 
preset I made and I added ROM and also EQ to boost a bit the mid range. It sounds like this. After four bar, I added a new guitar sounds. And also I use a preset from a jazz M for the jazz guitar M and then add a EQ a RC20 to make it more warmer. Added a delay from native instruments. Also the smooth for the harsh guitar sounds. Guitar sounds like this. I love to put one more piano melody in the break. So a same preset and I added a bus for the reverb. So you can hear the piano sounds like this. After that, just rearrange a bit of my melodic stuff. Then I put it back my guitar melody. And also, I added some more guitar sounds. The pre the plugins are the same with the guitar one, but a different melodies. So this guitar I pan it to the right a bit because the every stuff is very in the middle so we can pan something to the left something to the right to make the sounds more full and also you can hear difference layer in the difference ear part basically the melodic stuff is all like that so next up we are going to our drum sounds First thing is the hi-hat sounds. I drag a sample to the quick sampler from Logic and then use the EQ to make it super soft sound and added a RC20 for more warmer and added a bit reverb and sending to the bus one for the reverb sounds and pan it to the left a bit so you can hear the sounds before the plugin sounds like this. More softer. I use the uh, pattern regions to make this pattern. You just very simple to try different rhythm. Just use the on off button. And also very easy to draw, draw your uh, philosophy to make it sounds more human. Next up, this time I'm also layer the two snare. The first snare is a bit of uh, interesting and fun because I added a uh, delay sounds. You will hear the delay sounds with the snare. And the second snare, I just EQ a bit, send to my reverb bus. Combine together, sounds like this. I love to sound design and make it more interesting sounds using different techniques. Next up, the kick. I also layered the two kick. The first one, you barely hear it. And I cut all the high stuff. The second one, a bit hard kick. So I layer it, sounds like this. Also, the kick, I like to make it in a mono. So you just click here to make the sample to transfer in stereo to mono. Drums pattern, sounds like this.
In the drum bus, I added a, a compressor to make the sounds more glued together. Hear the difference before and after. This technique is recently I really like to use because I just listened back to my mix before my drums sounds not glued together. We always uh, learned music production on online. We won't be very good and professional at the beginning, but we try to learn different techniques. We try to improve ourselves. So don't stop making music. Just put out all your music to the world and you will improve your skill every time you make a new track. Let's back to our track. In the second part of the drums, I added a part sounds. This is from Piano Color and Piano Color is a very uh, different piano sounds. They got a lot of rhythm. So you can see they got piano pattern. The pattern sounds more like a percussion. I really like to add some more texture in the drums, some organic texture. So you can hear this is the sounds of the percussions. So I just high cut, low cut, and also add a RC20 and pan it a bit at the right. After the drums, I love to add more ear candy stuff. The first ear candy stuff I add is, it is from Lords, for from native instruments. And then I added a rum for the reverb and also I added a tr tremolo sounds. You can hear the sounds will be moved between your ears. So when I, before, after. So you can hear there is more movement in the background for the e candy stuff. Next up is also from a piano colors from this preset. So and then I added a RC20 reverb and also some EQ. It sounds like this. Next up is also some ear candy stuff and this is from pigments i found these sounds in this pack there are lots of winter stuff so you can hear this amazing unit sounds then i added a eq to cut some uh, frequency that i don't like and also a reverb and delay and also a tremolo is the sounds. I feel like you can just add a bit different sounds in the background. Your track will be more interesting. thing I will add is, is the transition sounds. The beginning I added a open sound a sample. And before the ending I added a one more transition sounds. Also just a sample. So basically this is how I made this track and you can listen to this track in all streaming platform and here is a little of the track you can enjoy thanks for watching my video and see you next week